Armatillery Gang was popping. Mr. Armsleeve in the building. You see the frost doubled up. Means I got it in this morning, you know? It was a good workout. Did some arms. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. Here tomorrow, we got a few matches that are going to be coming up, a few matches that fell through. Uh, talk a little bit about ranking stuff, talk a little bit about uh, future stuff, ideas, but not a huge, not a long video today. Just chopping it up with you guys, letting you know I'm still here. Tomorrow is July 2nd. It's going to be taking place at Aaron's house down in Phoenix. It's off like the 17 and like Dunlap, something like that, not too far from there. I will not be there. Artillery will not be in the building tomorrow, unfortunately. My birthday was just this past Wednesday, and it's going to be a good opportunity for me to be able to hang out with my parents. My folks, we're all going to go bowling tomorrow. She's gonna, they're going to take me out to dinner and a whole nine. It's going to be a good time. So, unfortunately, I won't make it. Shout out to everyone that's going to be having a match tomorrow. Shout out to Ed, <clears throat> who inevitably will be the cameraman. Uh, if you didn't see, he got a new whip. He got a new camera. It's beautiful. He'll be doing uh, the recordings for uh, t for tomorrow, July 2nd's practice, for the matches, for the after pulls, all that. I hope everyone has a good time. Stay safe and good luck to all the pullers. We have JPN, Juan Patricio Neri, going to go up against Ben Freeman. Ben has definitely got the size advantage on Sir Juan, but I think Juan definitely has the experience and the pronation, quite possibly the strap uh, advantage if he can... Uh, Get what he needs but i will say that ben has surprised me in the last month or so as far as his improvements with his cup mainly uh his pronation is not all there he needs to definitely work on his pronation but he's got some solid back pressure definitely got some solid cup going it just needs to learn to put it all together look solid feel solid on the table he's not a small dude so i think one's almost given up close to like i don't wouldn't say maybe close to like 60 70 pounds maybe but you know, this will show a lot in Juan's arsenal and tool belt if he's able to pull it out. So shout out to both those guys. Hope for the best. My prediction would be Juan 2-1. Uh, I think uh, Ben gets one, but I think Juan is able to win uh, two and squeeze it out. Juanito and Ben Corin were supposed to pull yesterday or tomorrow, but ended up not. They're not going to. Ben is not able to make it out to that practice. But that's a match that def definitely needs to happen. Definitely want to see uh, maybe something we can schedule July 30th. Uh, that will be taking place in Robert's backyard, Robert Fullerton's. But the winner of that is kind of like set up to go up against this Brett guy from Tucson. So we'd really like to see that. I think that could be a ton of fun. But those guys are both right up there as far as the 165 class for second place uh, behind Sir Marinto, Sir Biceps. So... As far as that match goes, if it were to happen tomorrow, I would give I would give Ben the advantage, and I think simply it's because Juan pulls too much. Uh, but I think that's why also another reason why Juan's excited to not pull him is to get a little bit of a break because he's not 100% fresh right now. I think the strength advantage and the strap advantage goes to Juanito. I even think the uh, IQ goes to Juanito. But Ben's hand is pretty legit for a 165er, and he's not, he's not a slouch. He's very strong. He does wear out quickly but he's got to be in a grinder and he gets in grinders man so you just got to put him there but i don't think it would be an easy win i think they need to do best of five on that not best of three i think it needs to show a little bit more because those guys are a little bit higher level and uh, i really want to see that match because i also want to see this brett guy come down i want to see him pull juanito because it's style of hooks or styles styles and matches the the hook match i love to watch it but who knows what could happen with that I'm excited for it whenever it happens. Ed versus Sid, left-handed. You know, I'm going with my boy. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I really don't know who's, who is going to be tomorrow. Um, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they're doing one round. I don't know if they're doing three rounds, five rounds, whatever they're doing. Horsepower for horsepower. If it was an, uh, 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 an even webbing and set, I would give it to Sid. Over a length of five rounds, I would give it to Ed. And that's not to say that I don't think Sid has stamina. I just think that Ed pulls more. So he is a little bit more in the tank. But I don't know if it's for real. I don't know if it's serious. There's no money. There's no, like, rhyme or reason. I think they're just kind of having fun with it. So shout out to those guys. Hope you guys rip each other's arms off. Have a good time. I think that's it for matches tomorrow. 
So uh, shout out to Austin. If you get a chance to watch this, bro, I'd love to get the chance to pull with you. Um, I've been healing up myself and just wrecking myself out at all these practices. Another reason why I'm not going to be going to this um, practice this weekend is I do need a little bit of a break. I've been going a little harder than usual, kind of messing up my training a little bit, but I'm able to get back into it finally this week and I'm happy about it. So some potentials, uh, some things that we do want to see hopefully in the future. Uh, I'm looking to take up Josue on his challenge on July 30th. My wrist is starting to feel a lot better to the point where training is starting to get back to normal. I would like to take that match. Aaron and Nathan already have something scheduled. I was going to try to have a match with Nathan, but I lost that opportunity with my wrist. Not a big deal. So Nathan and Aaron are going to have a match on July 30th in Robert's backyard. So I would like to arm wrestle Josue, hopefully beat him. And if I do, then I can get the winner of that match, who I do believe to be Nathan. Matt Bustamante is also going to be on that card against big Lawrence BM. Um, Lawrence, I don't know too much about it. I don't get to see him arm wrestle too often. Uh, I've only spoken with him a few times, but I would give Matt the advantage in that. I think Lawrence is a stronger human as far as overall, overall strength, but I think that Matt arm wrestles more. But who knows? We'll see. i um, interested to see that pan out. And then, like I said, hopefully we can get Ben and Juan on that card because they're... <laughs> It's so funny because there's two Ben and Juan matches, but uh, Juanito versus Ben Corrin on that match since it tends, tends to be not happening tomorrow. So July 30th is going to be the next after tomorrow. There's nothing in between. Unfortunately, it looks like Ed is going to be canceling his July 17th practice, the pool practice. Mexicali tournament that I believe he's going to be traveling to possibly with Miguel and some other pullers. And that is I literally, I think, the 17th date. So... It's all good. We'll do it at a different time. It's not like we can't swim at all times in Arizona, so we'll make it work. But uh, we're definitely going to have a little bit of a intermission, a little bit of a break. So July 2nd, tomorrow will be the next, the last event until the following July 30th. So please get with each other, do trainings, do small practices. Don't just not do anything for four weeks because we're not having practices. Um, just means we're not like focusing on throwing any matches or any big events or anything like that. So we definitely want everyone to compete in tournaments, especially if they're just four or five hours away, six hours at most. You know, these are tournaments that you should be competing in if you consider yourself a an arm wrestler for good. Um, someone who wants to get better, that's a great way to do it. Uh, I know you're like, John, well, why don't you do it? I am, I don't have a job right now. I'm super broke. I don't have good excuse to tell my girlfriend, hey, I'm going to go spend money uh, to go travel out to an arm wrestling tournament when I'm not contributing right now. So not the best idea for me. I definitely plan on doing it when I get the opportunity, like New Mexico in August. But please, you know, you hear one of these people that are saying they're going to a tournament in the neighboring states. See if you can talk to them about caravanning, maybe bumming a ride. I know it's kind of rude, but if they're flying out, you know, find out from them how much it might be. Try to get some information. But, um, you know, this is a community thing. So please reach out to each other if you guys are interested in going to tournaments. Ed did post that uh, tournament flyer in the chat. So please go look at that. I believe it's the Mexicali one. Shout out to the legendary for posting that. Some more potentials. Miguel versus Tony Barrasso. Um, Ed versus Jesse right-handed officially still needs to happen. That little bullshit at the plus practice was fun to watch, but... Let's 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 do it. This shit talking still has not ended. Ed still needs to pull like literally everybody left-handed. Uh, Tim, Eric, Sid's tomorrow, but I don't know what that's going to be about. Leo officially, I think, would be nice. They pulled a little bit in the backyard, but weren't, wasn't fresh for fresh. I'd like to see that match. Ovi versus Joseph, hopefully, is taking place at Kirby's. I heard on July eighth. So there you go. I, I lied. July 8th. Uh, I, I apologize to Kirby, but July 8th, oh, Kirby's having a birthday party, I believe, that he's inviting pullers to bring tables and that kind of thing. So please reach out to Kirby. Ed might have a little bit of information on that. I, I don't plan on making it out to that. If you're looking for a practice in between, that might be a good uh, scenario. It is a little deeper out there in Phoenix, but shout out to the West Side crew, Kirby and all of them. Uh, happy birthday, brother, uh, before, beforehand. Realistically, with all that being said, something that we definitely wanted to try to do was put together like a, a Phoenix versus Tucson card. Um, get a lot of the pullers that are serious from uh, Tucson together. Um, either get them to travel down here or a big caravan of us pullers that are going to pull go up there. It's just kind of 
whack to have us go up there for a practice. And the reason I say that is because there's like 10 of them and there's like 40 of us. So if we want it to be a bigger practice, we want it to be a big showing, we want it to be on YouTube and to look the best, then it should probably take place in Phoenix and have the few people that are interested from down there come down. I know it's harder uh, to find time, but uh, it definitely needs to happen. Something that I think would bring Arizona together, Arizona together would make us look good. Um, and there's a lot of potential matches there. So I like that a lot. I've been training hard, man, looking to pull Josue. Looking to pull that uh, winner of Nathan versus Aaron. Uh, Miguel had given me some guy named Bobby that no one knows anything about. I'd love to pull him eventually. It's just I don't necessarily know anything about him. And with how I just dislocated my wrist, I don't know if that's a good idea for me to just put myself out there. Um, trying to kind of test myself on ready-go scenarios with people that I am a little familiar with. Before I start going and traveling out to, uh, you know, tournaments, and, and killing myself against people I don't know anything about. So the way I look at it and the way I've looked at it for a little while now is your my first three years, I'm really not too, too worried about in the sport as far as making a name for myself. I'm really just worrying about soaking it all up, getting better, get, being the best that I can be um, for the time being, um, trying to avoid injuries, trying to train the smartest, trying to set myself up to have a good training regimen in the future, just habitually. And I'm getting there, I'm getting stronger, I'm finding out things that work best for me. I'm enjoying the sport, I'm having a good time, I'm loving the community. Uh, the community's finally starting to do a little bit of this. We're not there, but we're finally starting to do a little bit of this. Uh, if you look at the landscape of how it was two, three months prior to Arizona State, versus how it looks now, it's just, there's no comparison. It's it's amazing to see. Uh, all the activity, all the YouTube channels, all the involvement, everything. Um, so shout out to Arizona Arm Wrestling, man. Shout out to all of us because we did it. Um, we're, we're there, we're getting close, we're getting our name on the map, we're letting people know. Um, shout out to Ingen Terzi for putting my name out there because of Jesse. Well, shout out to Jesse for, for, for representing, you know, um, and, and saying us, but I want to build this channel and I don't do it for the views. I don't do it for the, uh, for the likes. I do it for, for the community. And I think the community sharing this is going to be the best way for us to get it out. So, so I always say like, and share and do your best to get this stuff out because I do my best, but I'm only one, one person and only so many people take me seriously. So, uh, shout out to all the pullers pulling tomorrow. Sounds like a great time and, uh, stay strong.